Hello everyone, I'm Hannah, Hannah Ada Stitcher, and welcome back to my floss tube. If you're new, thanks for checking me out, and if you're returning, thanks for coming back. I know it's been a while since I've done an update video. I'm all full of cold, so I do apologise in advance. But yeah, here I am again. I know it's been a couple of months, but I've not really been very well. And also I've had a lot of stresses going on personally, so that's why I've not been doing and also, really, really frivolously, the kitchen table, which is where I film, has been full of Christmas presents and stuff and junk. So I've never really felt in the mood to move it all and film. But here I am. I hope everyone had a great Christmas if you celebrate. And I hope 2019 is off to a great start for everyone, if possible. I've got a pile of stuff on this chair and it's in no order whatsoever. So I'm just going to show it all. I've got no system, so we'll see where we go. Oh, got a load of stuff there. Okay, so this is one I've been working on. This is Froth and Bubble by Long Dog Samplers, and basically it's the colouring in is essentially where we're at. I'm picking random colours to colour it in. There's no system at all whatsoever. I really like the colours in this band. I haven't finished the butterflies off yet, but... I'm getting there. I would like this finished in 2019. I don't think it's going to take too long because it is filling it in. But yeah, I'm really pleased with how that's looking. I love the blue and the butterflies. There is no system to the colours on that. None at all. It's whatever I am um, feeling the mood for, basically. That I would love that to be a 2019 finish. I feel like it's due. What have I got next? Oh yes, my um, Heaven and Earth designs. Let's get that out of there. I've done a page on it now. Oh, oh, she's bent in the fabric. Oh, there we go. That's what she looks like now. Uh, so this is the fold of her skirt. You can see her fingers there. I think in that block there, it had. Um, all 35 colours on the chart in that one block there with her fingers in it. I adore it. I adore how beautiful she's turning out. Um, as you can probably see from these part threads here, I'm doing the parking method on that. I did that page in eight days because I basically did nothing else. No housework, no actual work, nothing. I just did that page. Oh, cat hair on it, lovely. And I just fell in love with it. I think if and when I do another one, do not start on the background for me personally, because that just bored the hell out of me. But as soon as I hit skirt, because I'm going from the bottom up, as soon as I hit the skirt, it just whizzed by. I just couldn't put it down and I love doing it. It's gorgeous. And I'm really looking forward to getting back to this. Um, they're my park threads. Um, I've looked at lots of parking tutorials on floss tube and I've never really got it so I've sort of taken a bit from a lot of them and that just works. To do a page in eight days is great. I'm not getting column lines, the only way, place I am getting column lines is when it's all black, when it's all one colour, which is why I've feathered there and it's not quite straight. That's uh, Mini One by Zindi Nielsen. Oh, love her. Love her, love her, love her. Oh, I've got the cover page here. That'll help. She's going to look like that. I'm not going to do all the sky. Can't be bothered with that. I've got the cat here to say hello as well. You never leave me alone, do you? She only wants me when I'm filming. I think it might be because I'm, she can hear me talking to someone, so she wants to find out who I'm talking to. I hope that's what it is anyway. That's that one. Go on, pop it, pop it, pop it. Yeah, I know. Go on. Sorry about that. Okay, I did a new year, new start for 2019 and it is a kit. It's Teresa Wentzler's Birds. I'm not sure how well you're gonna see that because of the glare. Um, I changed the fabric. It was an even, we even weave. I don't do even weave, I do Ada, which is fine. I'll have to split the fabric on some of it. Oh my gosh, this fabric's creased. And that's one day's worth of work and that's how far I got. 
it was counting counting these to make sure they're all right I have triple checked them they should be and that's the top of the first bird's head which which is a chickadee which I might change the name of because I've never heard of a chickadee bird and I think that's an American thing for a bird we might have here I think from what I've briefly found out on Google I think it might be a great tit I think that's what we call it because I recognize the bird but I've never heard the word chickadee being used as a bird I've never heard of that so I may if I can change the text on there we'll see how it goes I might not I might that's not a 2019 goal at all but I did want to get it started I really did want to get it started for a new year new start the um, mini one which was my heaven and earth designed I would love to get all of it done up one side so another two pages essentially I'd love to get all the um, what was it as you look at it the left hand side done I'd love to have it finished but I'm trying to be slightly realistic the left hand side if I could get that done it's nine pages it's 12 pages but the bottom page is about 11 or 12 rows so I'm barely counting that so it's nine so if I can get the left three done that'd be good that'd be really good and I think that's all I've been working on for whips I've had a couple of um, stuff I've sewn for family members, but I don't have that here. So, yeah. Oh, I have a finish. I have no idea how well she'll be showing up because of the glare on the glass. So this is Gwen. I did finish her. She was a nightmare to stitch. She really was not fun. I think because um, in the dress, every two stitches you're changing a colour or you're leaving a space for a bead. It was just you were referring to the chart all the time. And yeah, I didn't like that at all. I like how the vines have come out, the vines in the gate. She really needs a bigger frame, but I didn't have a bigger frame, so she's going in this one for now. I really think the fabric makes her pop. And I'm really pleased with how that she's finished, that she's finished finally finished. I think the blue conversion came out quite nicely. So yeah that was a 2018 finish. And this one I finished yesterday which is what made me think I should probably film. This one is not my kind of thing at all. My gran asked me to stitch this for her. She found the kit and um, if anyone else had asked me I probably would have said no but she's been having a really rough time since her husband died and anything that will make it slightly easier so I stitched that and even though it's small it's really quite intense stitching because there's not really a patch of white anywhere in it so I've had that framed up for her as well it's a Janlin kit it was yeah not yellow is not my colour and I'm not a religious person either, so this was um, testing to stitch, shall we say. But it's finished, it's finished and I no longer have to look at it. I wanted to get that finished in 2018, but I didn't. Yeah, I finished it yesterday and today is the 5th. We'll go with the 5th. I think it's the 5th. And now I've got some haul, a little bit of haul. I got gifted for um, Christmas, my gran gave me some money to spend on cross stitch stuff so that is my fabric that I picked I wanted a nice neutral no idea what I'm going to put on it this is uh, where's the tag Cassia Rose is the colorway it's a 16 count Ada and it's from chromatic alchemy and I love this I love how the mottling on it I'm sure I will find something really nice to put on that but as yet I'm not sure what I love that, I think that's gorgeous. I don't have many neutrals, I've usually either got white or bright colours in my Ada, so I got, oh what's this, Portrait of Veronica, which is a Mirabilia, it's the colours. I love the colours, the rich greens, everyone knows what this one looks like, but the rich greens just scream sumptuous and me, I, oh, I love her, I love her. <coughs> excuse me she's one that I probably won't make any changes to and I've never done a Mirabilia or a Nora Corbett without making changes to them 
but I just, the colours are gorgeous and I don't want to touch them. I may start that this year because she's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I got two soda stitch patterns. I got Aladdin and I got Romeo and Juliet. I love Romeo and Juliet. I think she looks so pretty. She looks gorgeous. I just, holy backstitch. <laughs> and Aladdin, Jasmine was one of my favorite princesses growing up. And I love all the little things. So you've got Jasmine, the genie, the magic carpet. Oh, the genie's there, sorry. I'm looking at it upside down. <laughs> I love how that looks. But I can't decide which one to start first. I'm gonna start one of them fairly sharpish, but I don't know which one. <laughs> I don't know which one, because I love them both. I know there's a fairy tale series for the Aladdin one. I know there's, uh, what's it say on the back? Alice in Wonderland, Snow White, Anne of Green Gables, The Wizard of Oz, that kind of thing. But I don't think I'd do more than this one because Aladdin was my favorite. So that's that. And I got some really boring haul of some needles, some black beads because I'd run out of black beads, some invisible thread for the beading because I ran out of that on Gwen, ran out of that. Really boring stuff. My 2019 hard goal, the one thing I really want to get done is I want to get done um, Cinderella, Thomas Kincaid, Disney Dreams, that one. It's the big size one. I'll probably put a picture in here of how far I've got. I love it. I absolutely love it, but it has been dragging on for a while now. I started that when I finished Snow White, which is behind me on the wall, and I finished Snow White before my eldest niece was one, and she's going to school this September. So I need to get Cinderella done. I just need to get it done. I was going really, really well on it up until I got to the top right corner of it, because there is so much confetti in there, and it doesn't look like anything. It's like the trees in the background. So I was going really well until I got to that point. I think if I can get over that, it'll be really easy on the home straight. And that is all I've got going. I threw away my diamond painting. I'd had enough of that. No, not for me. I have no problem with people who do it, but I can't do it. It's more of a space thing for me, actually, I found, because once you've stuck the diamonds on the top, say the top row of pages, for example, and then you move to the next row of pages, you need a desk for it or something. Because it's not like fabric, it won't roll up. And it's also not like fabric, and what do you do with it when it's finished? Because you either frame it, or you have to have it stored somewhere flat, because if you roll it, the diamonds will pop off. I just think, no, it's not for me, because I like stitching, because once you put a stitch in, that's it, it's there, it's stayed, it's, not, it's staying there, it's not going anywhere unless you unpick it. But with the diamond painting, it was more finicky. It did what it wanted. And I'm not a fan of that, so I threw that one away. Because it's not for me. I just don't know what you do with them. I did the first top row perfectly fine. But then once you got to the next row, it's just it was hanging off of the little lap desk I use. It was hanging. And I just thought, this is going to get worse as I go further down the pitch. I thought it was a waste of time. A waste of my time. But now I know. And now I won't spend more money on that. And I'll spend more on the stitching stuff. I think, other than what I've shown, the whips I've got underway, I've got the Game of Thrones house banners. What, what else have I got? Oh, I've got um, the Snow Queen, which I haven't touched since Mania last year. That's another thing on Cinderella. I worked on her one day last year, which is just not enough. I did touch her one day in Mania, and no, not enough, not by far. I think they're the only other two whips I've got going on. I'm bound to have forgotten something. I'm bound to have... I can't think. So I may start some more stuff. Because more is always better. And yeah, that, I think that's it. Um, today, my sister, she finds out whether she's having a girl or a boy for her third baby. So we find that out today. So that'll be interesting and exciting. Um, if, it's, if it's a boy, my nieces are going to throw a fit because they want a little sister. So that could be fun. And I think that's that's all that's going on at the moment. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. I hope it will not be so long. I really, really do hope because I shouldn't have left it this long. Especially when I'm not working so I don't have a decent excuse. Thank you for watching. 
I hope you either enjoyed this video and thank you for hanging out with me and maybe think about clicking subscribe. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.